When it comes to fasting or calories, which one is more important? Well, that all depends on your goals. If you want to cut weight and fat, then you want to focus on fasting. But if you want to focus on building muscle while still dropping fat, then you want to focus on calories. Now, when it comes to cutting weight and fat, then yes, you want to focus on fasting. But in my previous videos, I've mentioned that when your body is depleted of all the calories that it's consumed prior, then the preferred energy source to keep you fueled is your own body fat. Now, there becomes a point where your body doesn't want to utilize that body fat as much, and it's going to start to deplete your muscles because if you continuously work out, at some point in time, you're going to start to lose calories from the muscles, and the muscles are going to be starved out of growth. So that's why you have to have that perfect fasting window that you know that's working on both dropping body fat and building muscle. But if you're focused for, let's say a belly burn challenge is to just drop weight and drop fat and we'll focus on building muscle on another challenge, then you can do these bigger fasts. In fact, I've known people that have done 24, 36 hours, 48 hours. I've even heard of people doing like a five day water fast. And they did end up losing a lot of weight and losing a lot of fat but at the same time, they weren't preserving muscle. Now, the thing about fasting is you have to be in the right mindset and you have to understand that at some point in time, you're going to get hungry. And especially if you're not just sitting around the house and working from home, if you're actually going out, getting your steps, you're active, you're engaging in mindful communication and you're working out, your body is going to need calories. So don't just starve yourself and call it fasting and think that everything's gonna be all right. Because if you don't eat the calories that your body needs, you can do that for so long. And then it winds up happening is it's a yo-yo effect. So you're gonna drop all those calories, you're gonna get into starvation mode, and then what ends up happening is your body is naturally going to slow your metabolism down and it's going to increase your hunger. And when that happens, we all tend to binge eat. So if you do a big fast and you do want to cut weight and fat, then you need to focus on that healthy weight and fat that you wanna cut weekly, which is about two pounds. Two pounds per week is what you can do. So if you did a fasting protocol, just from fasting alone, you could probably lose about eight pounds. But you wanna do this in a safe manner because of the fact that you don't wanna create a starvation mode, which then leads to a binge, and then you just starved yourself for 28 days for no reason, because you're just gonna rebound it back. But if you wanna just focus on weight and fat, then yes, fasting is what you should focus on. Now the second part is if you actually wanna drop some fat, while you're building muscle, then you gotta understand that muscle thrives in a caloric surplus. Now, just because you're not in a massive surplus doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to gain, not gain muscle, but you wanna make sure that you're finding that perfect window of fasting versus being able to get your calories in in order to keep those muscles thriving. So if you are still in wanting to lose some weight and lose some fat, but also start to see more muscles popping, then your routine is actually gonna take a little bit longer because if you go into an extreme caloric cut, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna see extreme amounts of fat and extreme amounts of weight lost. And if you go into a caloric surplus, meaning you, instead of being at zero and you're like a thousand calories over per day, well, then you're gonna see more muscles growing. You're giving it more of an opportunity to thrive. But you have to be able to understand how many calories you can go over that steady state without it actually being stored as fat. And so you have to find that perfect calorie balance. And most of us, it's actually zero, okay? So like, you're not in a deficit and you're not in a surplus. At this point, you're not gonna lose as much weight, but you're still going to dip into your fat stores. And at zero, you're still gonna be allowing those muscles to be in that optimal caloric zone. But again, this is gonna take some time because you're not gonna see drastic results unless you go one way or the other. And so when it comes to building muscle, especially for my audience, then you wanna focus on being at zero or slightly under. You don't wanna be over by too, too much, like way over here, because what ends up gonna happen is you're gonna not like how you're looking. You're gonna see yourself puffy, you're gonna feel bloated all the time, and in fact, you're probably gonna see your body fat go up as your muscle go up. You don't wanna be all the way down here and focusing on that caloric deficit because then the muscles aren't in a thriving zone. And so if you're too low, you're gonna see yourself drop weight, drop fat, 
if you have pre-existing muscle, that's when your muscles are going to be able to be showcased more. But if you're actually trying to see the needle on the muscle percentage go up, they have to be at zero or they have to be in a slight surplus. The bigger the surplus, the more thriving opportunity for those muscles. So when it comes to fasting or calories based on what your goal is, if you want to strictly focus on losing weight and fat, then yes, doing a fast, a long fast and cutting calories is where you want to be. But if you want to focus on just strictly building muscle, then being in a caloric surplus is where you want to be. And you might not have any big fasting windows to be able to eat as much food as you need to eat. So we want to find that perfect calorie zone where you're able to do some fasting so that you can dip into your fat stores, but you're also providing the muscle with enough calories it needs to thrive. So there we have it, guys. I hope this video opened up your eyes a little bit to fasting versus calories. If you liked the video, make sure you hit like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And if you're looking to join myself and my team at Fit Club, go to www.fitclub.fit.